Hey everyone, welcome to episode 10. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the channel in a four to five minute video and essentially roll out some new things that I'm gonna be doing over the next financial year. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is a 20K to 100K challenge. Now, it's purely for entertainment purposes, uh, probably more your entertainment purposes than my own because let's be honest, it's not gonna be much fun if I zero that off. I have set up a Reddit page, which I'll put in the description below. And essentially what I'll be using the subreddit for is like an online diary. So I'll write down all my mistakes, all my lessons learned, anything I could do better next time. And also I'll be trying to spot any trends that make me a better trader than I am today. I first started investing in around November, 2020. And whilst I've known for years how shares work and financial markets move, and also what makes a good company and what makes a bad company and what you need to succeed, I didn't really take investing seriously up until this point. And from there on, I've been trying to learn and trying to develop my skills. And I've gone from starting on around 8,000 pounds, all the way up to 27,000, and then back down to around 16 most recently. But now I'm sitting on around 21,000. So what I thought I'd do was, as it's a new financial year, load up my ISA and set myself some really challenging targets and see if I can improve as a trader over the next year. And just so everyone can see very quickly, you can see here that I've got 20,000 in. Now, one of the first things I've done is set up a tracker just to understand exactly how I'm going on a day by day basis. So you can see here, I'm starting with around 20K and I've started to pull together some rules as well. Now, hopefully I'll stick to these rules because when I've lost money, I've generally gone against them and beat myself up over it. And I'm not saying these rules are right, but generally they've worked for me in the past and I'll try and mature them as I go through the year. I think the only other thing to say here is that I've worked out that, you know, to get to 100K, obviously I need 80K more from where I am today. Um, taken the number of days per week, weeks per year, and then that gives me an average of, or rough estimate of 260 days that I can trade on. However, just as a kind of rough working average, I can see that I'd need to be making around 307, 308 pounds a day with no losses. So it's gonna be incredibly challenging, but you know, let's see how it goes. Because some days in the past, I have made around three to 4K a day, but because I've got greed, I've kept pushing it and I've taken my average down. So if I try and live by these rules that I've set myself, Hopefully that will safeguard my progression. And personally, if I don't end up achieving 100K, then fair enough, but at least it'll be really good to go on that journey and it's something to work towards and something to get excited about and hopefully gives my trading a different angle and perspective for the future. And by all means, if you want to copy them and they work for you, then go for it. But again, it's not financial advice. This channel and the trades that I'll be making as part of my ISA are there purely for entertainment purposes only. And worst case, if I lose everything, at least when I get divorced, half of zero is zero. And the second part of the channel update is I'm really pushing now to get to a thousand subs. So I appreciate everyone's help in growing my channel. I'm nearly at 250 subs, so I wanna keep pushing that up. And once I get past 1000 subs, my promise to you is any referral bonuses that I do get, I'll be handing back to the community as part of a month end giveaway. So some months, this could be something as little as seven pounds if I only had one person sign up. Previously though, I have had referral bonuses be upwards of 90 pounds. So add all those up throughout the month and you could be looking at anywhere between £100 to £300 giveaway. And the way I see it is it's something I can give back to the community to say thank you for your support and it doesn't actually cost me any money at all. And I will keep doing my deep dive videos as I know a lot of you have subscribed on the back of those but I am trying to find a way to reduce them to around the five to 10 minute mark as well. Just so that basically people watch the full video and keep engaged about the whole thing so I can still get my message across. I'll make sure that I put the subreddit link into the description area and also I'll make sure that this track is included as well, just so you can keep up to date with my progress. Anyway, that's the end of this video. So nothing else to say other than thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now and take care and happy investing for the rest of the week.